Are we singing and playing musical instruments for God's glory or for our glory? If we are worried about how we look, if we are caught up in how we sound, if someone sings a song and it doesn't sound like we think it should sound, if we worry about how others think we look, if we worry about how others think we sound, at that point, are we really doing any of it to praise and worship God? Or are we doing it for us and the praises of other people? Are we puffed up, prideful, and legalistic about the whole thing? Are we focusing too much on the work and not enough on the worship? In Luke chapter 10, we see a similar instance, not music related, but Mary and Martha opened up their home to Jesus as he traveled with his disciples. And while Mary was sitting at Jesus' feet, giving attention to worship, Martha was giving attention to making sure that everything was perfectly prepared and in her frustration, wanted Jesus to make Mary help her. Martha was in a frenzy about the busy work while Mary was busy worshiping at Jesus' feet. When it comes to singing and playing musical instruments, are we too worried about the busy work and not busy enough worshiping? I can remember around June to August of 2019 making a comment about a church that I had gone to with my mom in Lafayette, Louisiana. I said the singing was off, but the sermon was good and compared it to another church where the singing was good, but the sermon, not so much. I remember saying, if we took the singing from one and the preaching of the other, it would be the perfect church. Truth is, the singing wasn't off and neither was the preaching. What was off was my spirit worrying about the wrong thing. In search of churches to attend in 2020, how the music sounded was a large part of my selection process. When I did choose a church though, it had nothing to do with singing and music. It had nothing to do with getting goosebumps from a sermon, but it had to do with a pastor standing on the word of God. And I knew that if I went there, I would get the whole gospel and not some itchy ears, watered down version. I don't believe that we should be puffed up and prideful and legalistic about how things look, how they sound, how they make us feel, or how others will feel about it. Because to me, that means that our focus is not where it should be, which is on the worship. I honestly believe that God can cause our singing and preaching to sound however he needs them to sound to whoever he is drawing to himself through Christ. Singing could sound like nails on a chalkboard. And that day, there'd be one tone deaf person listening that God is drawing to himself who couldn't tell that it sounded terrible anyway, but was touched by it in their spirit. It could sound like a crowd of cats meowing and touch the spirit of one opera singer needing salvation. I truly believe we would do well to just sing and preach, focusing on the worship, and let God worry about what it sounds like. 